when I had asthma, I felt that very crabby and didn't feel good. But when my asthma was gone, I felt cheery and I had lots of fun and I played dress up. I drew me in a big circle here. That means the pain, the pain that I have when I cough, and the pain I have in my chest. And then on the other side, when I feel better, I drew me happy, like smiling, because the machine helped me a lot. When I have asthma, it hurts my chest and I'm coughing and wheezy like every minute and I just can't like move because I feel like really sick and I don't, and I'm really scared. I do the other side to show how I feel after I take my medicine when my asthma is gone and um, I get to play outside and play with my friends and get to do fun things again. I draw a picture of the Titanic and it's showing me like when I have an asthma attack, I feel like I'm sinking in the Titanic. When I don't have asthma, I feel like I'm in a lifeboat. And then I'm, that brings me home. drawing, I uh, made a girl crying and sniffling because she said that she has an asthma attack and she's shaking because she doesn't know what to do and she's scared. And then after she gets better and she's thinking in her head, no more of that shakingness and coughing and sneezing and having to take any more medicine. once had to get rushed to the hospital because it, I couldn't breathe at all. I was like taking the tiniest breath I could ever take because I couldn't make a deep, deep, deep breath. So I had to get rushed to the hospital. They put on this like mask over my face and I stayed there overnight and I had to breathe in and out. I felt really, really scared. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I feared most that I was gonna die, but I didn't know that I would live because I didn't know there was medicine for it. So I was really scared I would die because um, see, I've seen these like movies that have masks on and people are like they're in the emergency room and they're dying and I was afraid I would. The doctor explained to me the reason we couldn't hear her wheezing was because she was too tight. She couldn't get enough air in or enough air out to make a wheezing sound. She wanted to fight it, so I had to hold her arms down with one arm while I held the face mask over her arm with the other, with my other hand. And I whispered, you know, I told her how much I loved her. And she was fighting and struggling and she whispered back, I love you. 
love you. I could barely hear it over the noise of the nebulizer. Those were the last words she ever said. <laughs>